Hello, everybody, and welcome to, well, it's that time of year again, isn't it? It's, it's the time of year when your disposable income will be no longer, but it's for the greater good of Dota. You're doing it to increase the prize pool of the International 8, or at least that's what we tell ourselves, but it really is for the goodies. Let's be real. Let's see what's in this year's Battle Pass for TI-8. I have bought level 75, which was $35, I believe, which is the same price as an Arcana. Um, if anything, if it's like last year, I'll probably end up around level 350 or so, but it depends on what's in the battle pass itself. Um, and before we get into the battle pass, before I activate it, uh, it'll come with a new game mode. There's not a whole lot of information on it yet, but it's called the under hollow. You can read about it on the blog post. And there's a couple other things. Mutation mode. It's an unracked match with uh, just little things they throw in there that change every couple hours. So for right now, it's every minute a random spell will be cast on everyone. Whenever a rune is activated, it affects all on your team. And when you kill somebody, they drop a gold sack. Uh, so obviously, this will vary quite a bit based on what time you're playing. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I have no idea if I'll actually... I mean, I'll definitely try it out, but not sure if that's something I will uh, be playing that often. Something I definitely will is ranked roles. This is the best feature in the Battle Pass. Uh, available to only people that buy the Battle Pass, which I assume that means mutations for everyone? I assume that's the case. Uh, but anyway, you, you, you queue up in whatever role you want to play, support... Uh, carry, mid, or offlane. And people just assume that's the role you're going to be playing. Of course, you can play anything you want, but this narrows it. This makes it so much easier to organize, and you don't have like five people wanting to play carry in all likelihood. You still might have some. Like, I know some people are going to troll, like, oh, I'm going to queue up for support, but really I'm just going to pick carry and screw everybody over. But I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be that commonplace. Uh, this is something that should be part of the game, uh, but. In all likelihood, this will be the reason. I could be wrong. This could be one of the main reasons, other than all the cosmetic stuff, that this battle pass will increase the price pool past last year's to make another record, which has been a yearly thing. It's been an annual thing. So I guess we shouldn't be surprised that Valve has been coming up with stuff like this. Uh, I'm a little set. Maybe it's a little different now, but uh, I don't think you can... Q based on like the four position. It's just support is the four and the five. And for me, I play super greedy four, right? Like it's almost not even, it's just another core. Probably not good for the game that I do that, but you can't queue up. So I won't be queuing up for support is what I'm trying to say in case you guys are wondering. All right, time to activate the battle pass. Let's do it. So I get 75 levels for the 35 bucks. And let's see what we get to claim. All right, unclaimed rewards. Is there no, uh, do I have to claim them one by one? Is this for real? Come on. Wasn't there a button before that just said claim all or something like that? All right, whatever. We get the predictions. We'll go over a lot of this stuff in a bit. Uh, the treasure, of course. Which if you're very, this is going to be a long video. I'm saying that now. You guys probably already know because the, you get to see what the actual length is before I'm done with this. Um, all right. Let me just go through all this stuff. That's fine. Wow, that's super laggy. Is that just me? All right. Back to the pass. All right, so we're going to get the fountain effects and the player card stuff. All right, fine. We'll play this once. I, I, I never get anything on these, so I'm not expecting anything. So it's going to be a lot of the same with a lot of new stuff on top. So it's even more than... Uh, you're used to seeing. Let's see, I kind of want the Panda Courier, but I'm going to get the shitty-ass bounty set. Let's yep. See. Actually, it's not that bad of a bounty set. Sorry. Whoever made that, it's actually good. Uh, okay. So we're going to go through a lot of... Jesus, why can't I scroll? All right. It's just super laggy for me right now. Okay, so let's go through each tab real quick. Uh, a lot of the same stuff that you guys are used to seeing. We get the Arcana Vote. Um... This is kind of a recap of the tab, so we'll just go through each cat, uh, each tab. So the cavern, this I have no idea about. I don't know how to even activate this. Do I need to 
maybe I need to unlock it. But you win game. It's like a little mini game. It looks like, and you explore. It, it's almost like the the Slark Relic thing from last year, but more skill based apparently, because there's stuff you can do, um, and the stuff that you win, the Jade Baby Roshan or these three sets. This is took me a while. That's a Legion Commander. <laughs> Does not look like Legion Commander. This is. Skyrath Mage, very good. Thank you. I play this game. And of course, Bristleback. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I'm guessing I have to activate this in the compendium or something, right? Tipping, this is new. So you can just read it right here. Access the in-game scoreboard to tip players in your matches whenever they do something worthy of recognition. So this could be for the enemy team or your own team. Each tip is worth 25 battle points at the start, and it upgrades over time based on how much your compendium is upgraded. Uh, of course, it's not like a, the betting, so you're not spending yours to give to them, so you might as well just use your allotted amount each week. Um, pretty cool. I like that. Uh, the wagering is back. Pretty much exactly the same as you would expect. Uh, if you guys are new, basically you get 1,000 tokens by base default. Uh, if your companion is a really high level, you'll get more to be able, uh, get more to spend, and you can bet at the beginning of the game. And if you win, you get that much gold times two, right? Or that that many coins. Um, you don't get to reuse those coins, so it's kind of weird. So the amount that you get, that's it, the only amount that you can spend for that week, right? Uh, but those get translated into battle pass points, which you can get levels for. Um, and then there's these gold ones, which you can use on top of. The, the green ones, I guess they are now. By the way, not a, not a fan of green. Um, my least favorite color, probably. But that's just a personal thing. Reminds me of TI4 as well. But what can you do? All right. Achievements. Uh, so, again, a lot of the same. Just keeping track of... and kind of gives you incentive on opening treasures and getting extra battle pass points just for doing things that you probably do anyway. Um, and if not, this, again, incentivizes you to do so. Uh, the rewards is kind of just the recap of all the little items that you get, which we will be going through now. And the compendium itself, uh, a lot of the tabs are not ready to go. Player cards are there, though, which I guess I can't open right now. And the fantasy, and the rest to come soon. All right. So with that, let's start opening Shizzle. Huh? Ranked match team challenge token. Okay. So a lot of the teleportation effects, fountain effects, uh, obviously you get access to the vote for the Arcana. Right? This is all the stuff you get for just buying the level one battle pass, which comes with this taunt. Okay, it's cute. I like it. Um, icon pack. All right, let's take a look at the courier this year. I mere aim. Hillborough. I'm actually going to have to look this up. Is this an actual word? That's really bad if I don't know this word. Is that a name? It must be a name. Eimer? Yeah, it's not a word. Thank God. We'll say Eimer Hillborough. It's a little, uh, little minor. Of course, it is subterranean. It's, I, didn't, I said it was just green, but of course, this TI, the theme is underground. Uh, all right, let's look through each one. Oh, he gets glowier. Oh, he gets some little effects there. Oh, he gets a candle. Hmm. Oh, and a minor cap, along with the extension there. Oh, that's nice, actually. Then you get the green, and then the ultimate is the golden. All right. So that is the courier for this year. And the ward for this year, I know you guys are really excited about this. It's a little snail on top of a mushroom. Hmm. Okay, so we're just going to go through the important ones, and then we'll be opening the uh, the, the actual treasure, number one. Uh, taunt for Enigma. It's like uh, inflatable, super inflatable, whatever, man. From Family Guy. I'm sure you guys know what that is. All right, we got the chat wheel back. We won't go through all the... Why is this not dragging? Like, holy jeez, man. I guess I'll just have to... This is actually super annoying. Okay, if I don't claim... If it's not claimed, I can't drag on it. I see. Okay. Um, 
So to be able to do that, I just need to do this. Very good. Very good system. All right. Chat wheel items. Is this the... Um, okay, I'm not sure. There's the there's a spray paint now. I don't know what level you need to be to get that. Um, we might as well level up the level up effects, I guess, right? Did I miss anything that would level me up other than the treasures, potentially? For God's sake, just let me scroll. Oh, I can scroll with my mouse. Well, thank God. Okay. So we're going through, going through, going through. We're just going to go through the major ones. Uh, we get the vials back, obviously the effects for items and whatnot. Uh, the coins, the same things we've always seen. Meeple announcer pack coming soon. That would not have been the hero I would have chosen. I think, I'm trying to think, if there, I don't think there is one. The Ogre Magi announcer pack would be super awesome. Um, I'd be very happy about that. So I think, yeah, these these little pictures, isn't this, isn't this a spray paint? I'm almost positive this is spray paint. So that comes with the chat wheel. Uh, so by getting level 48, you get that spray paint. And then since I bought the 75, eventually, I'm sure it'll get up to here. I'll get the monkey spray paint. Excellent. Okay, let's look at this taunt for Pugna. Is it endless? All right. It's endless, it seems. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stop. Oh, please. No. All right, we'll just find the next taunt. Hopefully it overrides it. Or this will. Okay. Um, what is this? 5,000 shard. Oh, the Dota Plus. Very nice. Integration there, Volvo. I like. All right, we're scrolling up. Another spray paint. I, I don't know how... I want to see this in game, but I guess we won't today. Taunt for Ricky. I assume most of these you can run around while using because they've been changing to implement that for all the heroes now. So these are all pretty hilarious. That's good. All right. And then the terrain, which I'm definitely upgrading till I get the terrain. Uh, although I don't really like the terrain. Uh, <laughs> The terrain looks very similar to last year. Very similar. Last year's was super cool. Uh, and this one's kind of a scaled down. I mean, I shouldn't say scaled down. It's obviously underground instead of water. But, eh. I mean, again, I'm just not a fan of green. So I'm not going to like a lot of the, uh, stuff that revolve around that color. There is something coming up, though, that I will be super disappointed if it doesn't work with what I want it to work with, which you will find out very shortly. Cat Wrangler, taunt. It's like a merry-go-round, huh? Pretty cute. All right, moving along. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Level 190, you get custom creeps, uh, which I've been waiting for for a long time. But the only problem is... All right, we're going to test them out in game, actually. Let's see if it forces us to use a specific terrain. If... Oh, yeah, look at these. Oh, my goodness. What happens when they turn to me? Wait, what about the... Why is it just my creeps? Alright, let's read this. Oh, you're just unlocking the radiant creeps? Oh, wait. Oh, it gives you both. Okay, good. Let's let's just test this out. Just to advertise them for Star Ladder, apparently. Alright. So you have to... So it's not like a one and all thing. You just have to... Enable both. I can't view them because they're enemies. Oh. Eh. A little disappointed, to be honest. Not to sound like a curmudgeon, but... Been waiting for custom creeps a long time. I think the ones that were actually released at the workshop were way better than these. Like, way better. Um, radiant ones are definitely better than the Dire, though. So the thing I was questioning because of the wording in the battle pass, and I'll just read it verbatim. Um, creeps. Enlist some new recruits to march mindlessly towards the enemy ancient cavern. 
themed lane creeps. These creeps can be equipped in the global items loader and will feel right at home wandering the lanes of the default map, the seasonal terrain, or the all new Emerald Abyss terrain. So this is going to be very sad for me because not, I was going to say this sounds sell outy, but it's not like I'm making money off of it. The best terrain in the game guys is monkey King, not even close. Probably second place would be the Legion Commander one, but it has some FPS issues. The Monkey King terrain is so god tier. And if I can't use these custom creeps, which apparently I don't like anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter, I will still be quite sad. Uh, because that... I don't see why that would be a thing. You know, where, where am I? Jesus. I already lost my place. Here we go. Like, wh why would this... And again, that's just me speculating. I'm not even sure. Um, won't know until we equip them officially, but... I'm not that level yet. Moving on up. Wow, level 200 to get these guys, huh? That's crazy. More shards. All right, we have a PA taunt. Okay, not bad. The other ones I think are a little bit better. I like the goofier music personally. That one's lore breaking for me. Mm, yes. More effects, more treasures. The higher you go, the more treasures you get, of course, for those of you that haven't had to go through the battle pass before. Uh, the under hollow bonus. So that's... So you don't get access to that until 260. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what last year's was. The I remember the Wisp Arcana was like 180, maybe? Something like that. Uh, prestige item for Lion which if you look in, you can't look at it here, but on the, the blog post, I think it shows a little bit of that. It's like a, I think a green shards on him or something like that. Is that Swindle? <laughs> and so you get Swindle for 262. All right, moving on up. We got the Death Prophet taunt. So this is good. Oh, the rainbow. I gotta say it one more time. Excellent. Love it. All right. And keeping on going. The deny thing is at 313. That's a very specific number. 322, you get the sad crying tree spray paint. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. I'm a big Wraith King fan. I approve. And moving on up, this is probably about the point where... Oh, that's right. So the big value, of course... Wait, you got a second one? Oh. <laughs> that's pretty smart. You use the exact same taunt and then just change the effect at the end to make it an, an egg cracking. That is genius. Holy shit. Valve is actually... Super smart. That's pretty, that saves a lot of time and that's actually a really cool taunt. I think both of them are great. Um, but who's going to want just the normal egg? You want to show that you've supported your game, of course. Uh, but anyway, 375, this is probably the point, unless I see something I really like, this is probably the point where I will just make sure I'm up to this and then I'm probably done. Because I don't personally care about the level 1000 or the Aegis or anything like that. But you get a ton of value with the Immortal Treasures here. And if it's anything like last year, you don't get much after that. Although you do get a bunch of the chat here. These are from last year, of course. Are these all the same? Yeah, I think these are all the same. Uh, oh, another taunt. That's a really good taunt, actually. That might be the best taunt in the game. Because it, it encompasses what a taunt should be, right? All right. A bunch of immortal treasures. Is that the last taunt? I'm trying to see if there's... Oh, boy. Omni taunt. <laughs> Poor Slacks. Poor Slacks is going to have to get 563 for that one. Luckily, I never play that hero, so I ain't getting it. 
Promise of Eminent Revival coming soon. So this one, I think, is just old immortals that are redone in some way. We don't know how as of yet. So those could be worth a decent amount potentially because there's not going to be, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, there's not going to be that many people that get this level of compendium, right? Obviously, there's a lot of, there's some whales, as they call them out there. And then past that, some spray paints. I don't think there shouldn't be anything like, I mean, we can just skip this, right? Yeah, the level 1,000 thing. The courier, you won't get till that. 1,200 for these. Are these the Filipino castles? I, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure these are Filipino casters. That is amazing. Why is this 1,200? That's insane. These should be way... I mean, these are amazing. Don't get me wrong. But, all right, look at it this way. You're from the Philippines. It's not America. America is a country that is... Like, when we look at uh, CPM, which is the amount of money you make on YouTube, which is nothing anyway these days, but regardless... There's a reason that America and like UK and actually Australia is number one for getting the most ad sales because people are just more wealthy in those countries. So if you go to SCA, like, I don't know, that, that makes no sense to try to get your own favorite casters that you listen to all the time. You have to get level 1205. That is, I don't like that at all. Hopefully people complain about that and that ends up changing. Those are fucking awesome. 1,200. Jesus. All right. So that is the end of the review of the general uh, Battle Pass stuff. Now I just need to open them them thingies, right? I could... Eh, I'm not going to do that. It's going to take forever to open all this stuff, so we're not going to bother with the cavern right now. Uh, if I get something cool, I will record it. So what I do with the Slark Relic back in the day, uh, I would record and then just not upload because I never got it. It was just that like 0.1% chance that I got something. I still have hope after all these years somehow. I'm not sure how that's a thing. But um, All right. So Immortal... Wait, do I, how many do I have? So I have four unclaimed. So I will do that now. Accept, 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 accept. So how many of these guys do we have right now? Because maybe I have to buy some, actually. All right, if you could just let me unzoom without having to click. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we just need six, and then these are the rares. I'm not gonna show these effects because uh, Neil is making a video on them. I will give my personal review on each as we go through them, uh, based on what I remember. I own five right now, three, four, five, so I need one more. Damn it. God dang it. Okay, so I got to buy some stuff, guys. Uh, do I... All right, I might need to just accept everything, so maybe I get the levels just by claiming everything. Is that a thing? I don't need to claim that one. No, this, there's no way this is correct. Okay, let's just... Unless there's like a level bonus or something, we'll go through this real quick. What is this one again? No. Incorrect. All right, so I just need to buy some battle pass. How many do I need? Oh, I don't need that many more just for this. Although I probably should just buy some anyway, shouldn't I? Purchase levels. So, what level did I want anyway? So I wanted, I'm gonna end up at 300 something, right? So 375, I don't need to buy it up to 375 now. I know you guys want me to because it'll level up on its own just by playing. So I will level to like 313 maybe. I'll just throw a random number out there for now. So I'm at 75 now. I can buy like 200 maybe. God, that's so expensive. Oh, it's so expensive. All right, so... No, no, no. So I'm at 75. I want to buy maybe 200. Oh, that's... Uh... 
All right, we'll go here. Like 350 whatever. It's under $100. We'll do that. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about this. I have to, you guys don't see this, right? Okay, good. I have to open my bank account stuff right now. And I have to purchase. I'm doing this secretly. I did not prepare for this much money being spent. Ugh. Guess that's my meal for today. That's okay. I'll just live on Dota for today. It's all good. Okay, I think we're good. Activate on my account immediately or save for later. What? The levels will remain as items in your inventory. From there you can get oh. Fuck that. I ain't I ain't giving that to friends, bro. Ooh. That did feel good. I won't lie. All right, so we have six unclaimed, so we're going to be opening 11 treasures today. So let's do that. Boom, boom, and... Okay, I skipped. We'll skip once the rares are gone for sure, guys. How about that? So we get... Oh, I didn't go through each one. Damn it! That's my doorbell. Don't mind. Don't mind it. I'm doing the reverse. Uh... Oops. I haven't done these in so long that I forgot how I did it. Can you believe it? All right, let's go through each one as I've already gotten two of them. So this one is the Underlord Emerald Conquest. It is a weapon, a little shardy looking thing, and it's super legit. The Pit of Malice has changed, and it's very nice. I really like it. This one is the Vengeful Spirit Mournful Reverie, and it changes, well, obviously you can see it's the wings, and it changes the Magic Missile, which I think looks pretty pretty good. Not too shabby. There's a couple I hate, by the way, so you can wait for that. Terrorblade Span of Sorrow, the wings, and that is the Sunder effect. Pretty nice. Uh, Dota 2 Game Coordinator is down. Good thing I bought all my stuff. Ancient Apparition Shatter Blast Core. This is the back piece, and it changes Ice Vortex, which I love. I think it looks super nice. The Ricky Edict of Shadows is a turns him into a bird, essentially, or a goat. I don't know. More so of a goat, I guess. And it changes Smoke Screen. The face on Smoke Screen looks pretty cool creepy to me not a fan of that portion of it the rest is good um i don't know why his face pops up on the smoke screen i don't know why you even need that it's it's unneeded spirit breaker savage metal did i say the name of that edict of shadows can you guys hear this i wonder if that's being picked up on the mic i think so you know, just ignore it it's not an earthquake it's just my garage spirit breaker savage metal this is the the mace and it changes the Greater Bash effect. It's okay. I, mean, I don't think there's a whole lot you can do with the Greater Bash effect anyway. The Lich Glare of the Tyrant is a super awesome looking item in itself. And by far the worst effect in this entire chest. It looks so bad. I'll probably still use it, but my god, it looks bad. The worst effect by far. No offense. Uh, not a fan. Then Ricky, of course, the golden version of what we just saw. And again, Neil is making a video. It's probably already out at this point, showing all the effects. And then the codicil of the veiled ones, PA. This is the one that no one will get. It changes stifling dagger. The stifling dagger is just a very uh, it's a very small effect. It's not something that's as noticeable as a lot of these other ones, but the item itself is disgustingly sick and it goes really well with the arcana which you do you do not see right here this is the ultra rare and then a cosmically rare emblem of the crystal echelon so instead of having that little mini game give you that uh slark relic from last year it will be through this and i don't even know if i want it because it it makes all your heroes green like the base of you just green for the whole year and you know based on this video alone how much i don't like green so uh, yeah, let's open some more. So based on the rares, 
if I were to get any, Ricky and Pete. I don't know why I even talk about the rares, as if I ever get anything anyway. All right, Ricky. Good, good times. Come on, Ricky. Come on, or PA. Anyone. Any. Why do you have to torment me? Why must you torment me so? Does anybody know if I've ever gotten a rare in a TI compendium before? Like, ever? I must have. Yeah, I probably have. But the ratio is definitely not up to par. Let's be real. Of course, you can recycle these immortals uh, if you get duplicates, which we will be getting. Um, maybe skipping helps. Nope, does not. Skip. Nope, doesn't help. Oh, Lord. How many do I have? Three more. All right. Oh, oh Lord, please. One more. Oh, please. Okay. Nothing today. So that is the Immortal Treasure 1. Of course, there's going to be two more on top of that. Let me see if I missed anything from the Battle Pass itself that is worth mentioning because there are a lot of stuff. Of course, the game mode, we kind of brushed over at the Under Hollow. There's a lot more information on the blog about it. Uh, the Cavern Crawl. I mean, I still... You guys are going to call me idiots. I don't like it when you guys call me idiots. Call me idiot. Call me an idiot. I can't even speak English today. Cavern. How do I play this? Can somebody tell me how to play this? I tried to hit start. Nothing happens. How do I play you? Descend in the caves beneath the riverlands and battle your way to fortune and glory. Just win games with Desi... Oh. I am so dumb. You can call me dumb. It's okay. I actually read it this time. So it's not a mini game. You play games and you win with specific heroes in order to get the path that you need to get what you want. Okay, so it's not a mini game at all. So what is this stuff? What is the legend? Swap here with a random. I guess you can kind of manipulate where you go in case you don't want to go down a specific path. So this is the old path system, but in a different form. Okay. I'm not an idiot anymore, though. I was an idiot at the beginning of the video, but at this point, come on. I actually read it. Uh, mutation mode we went over sprays we didn't get to see um, you guys want me I mean this video is long enough I might as well show that right all right let's claim and customize so let's change this to be uh, what's the best one we have is this one for now turn to hotkeys so problem is I don't even have a hotkey set to the wheel, do I? Chat wheel, let's just put it as N and M for now. Okay, heroes, whoever, doesn't matter, demo. Let's try it out. And how long do they last is the real question. I mean, if you guys, probably most of you are familiar, this is a Counter-Strike thing. Uh, in fact, it's a Half-Life thing. If you're that old school, Half-Life 1, uh, this is where they came from. And we're not going to wait to see how long this... Well, we can wait while I scroll through the rest of the, the blog just to make sure we got everything. Um, so the team challenge tokens, I didn't go over. You, you get them as you progress along the battle pass and you spend one token to match your five stack into the ranked queue at a higher difficulty. If you defeat the stronger opponents and your whole team will haul in a substantial MMR boost and bonus battle points. Wow. So if you guys are Smurfs out there, you don't want to play this. You'll have a better time winning it, but then you won't be Smurfs anymore. So stay away. Interesting. Uh, we went over the custom creeps, which I, I'm i actually interested what you guys think of the custom creeps. Like, okay, as we see the spray paint fade away. Okay. So it lasts a decent amount of time. Interesting. Um, In-game tipping. Make sure you use those. And of course, the role-based matchmaking is by far the best thing in this battle pass, I think. Um, you can also get points. I don't know if it's set up yet, though. I didn't see it. But for the pro circuit prediction, so for any tournament, including MDL coming up and the rest of the tournaments throughout the whole way till TI, 
you can predict on and you get battle pass points for doing so, which is awesome. I've wanting them to do that forever. And if we beat our goal from last year, which is 24.7 million, uh, we get 10,000 battle points plus another 10,000 battle points. So, oh, sorry. 10,000 for beating last year and then another 10,000 if we go over 30 mil. And of course, a lot of the old stuff is still here. And yeah, that is pretty much it. There is a lot. Remember last year when we made a video and it was super long? I'm like, that. this is like the crate. This is super in-depth. It had Silt Breaker and all that stuff. And yeah, they've, I have to say, they have outdone themselves yet again. Um, for me, it's the cosmetics were kind of expected. The ranked, uh, the ranked uh, role selecting matchmaking was not expected. And that makes this battle pass super legit. So let us know what you think in the comments below, friends. Um, and that is about it. Thanks for watching. If you got through this whole video, make sure you tweet at SunsFanTV. I would appreciate it. Uh, and forgive me for my insolence. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye, friends.